explain to you the company background for Doremi Pizzeria. Doremi Pizzeria is a company that sells pizza only. Pizza is a dish of Italian origin consisting of usually round, flat base of dough, topped with tomatoes, cheese and often various other ingredients such as various types of sausages, and cheese, mushrooms, onions, olives, vegetables and meat which is then baked at a high temperature, traditionally in a wood-fired oven. Doremi Pizzeria has many types of pizza toppings and imported from different types of countries. The company is making sure that there are variable types of toppings to make sure it is matches with everyone's taste no matter where you are from. The menu of the company is truly unique, which are Hawaiian chicken pizza, beef pepperoni pizza, sushi pizza, spicy sausages pizza, seafood pizza, and mozzarella cheese pizza. These unique sets of menus could provide customers to know more about our pizza. Doremi Pizzeria start to operate on April 2022. This company is a sole proprietorship established by Akmal ID Ben Ahmad alias LIS Ahmad Alwi. Our company center is in Kota Baru, Kelantan. There are also many other branches that we open all over Malaysia. In addition, this place is very suitable for the company because it was the most strategic place and very easy to reach for the employees, customer and supplier. Doremi Pizzeria start the business with an investment of capital worth 100,000 ringgit. The goal of this, of this business is to introduce the special pizza made by our company among the citizens to attract more customers from overseas. Doremi Pizzeria usually make an exclusive offer and promote using advertisement and media social such as TikTok, Instagram and Facebook. Use it this way, it will bring more customers to the business. And other than that, the customer can give feedback where we can improve the differency of our product and company. There are three levels of management in our company, which is top level manager, middle level manager, and lower level manager. The first one is top level management. Top level management is the highest position in the company. They must set the company's vision and mission, create our own strategy, and operating policies. They also officially represent the company to the external environment by meeting with government officials, executives of other companies, and so forth. Title found in the company is Chief Executive Officer, or we call it CEO. The second one is middle level management. Middle level management is a position within the company as a license between top level management and lower level management. Middle managers are usually responsible for a business function or department within the company. In our company, we have marketing manager, finance manager, operating manager, and assistant manager. The last one is lower level management. Lower level management is a management position at the bottom of the hierarchy in the chain of command. They must implement all the goals set by top-level management and middle-level management. They also involve in short-term goals. They are responsible to produce goods and services. Titles of lower-level management in our company is foreman, section heads, or supervisor. Type of manager. First, top manager. Include in the top-level management, responsible for creating and implementing organizational plan and policy. A professional who is at executive level. Use concept to a skill to see the whole enterprise as well as the relationship that exists among the various parts in the organization. Hold authority, resource and decision-making power regarding change of the company. Secondly, middle manager. Include a middle-level management. Managers that below the top level of management. Responsible for controlling and running an organization. Interpret top manager directly into operation and make implementation decision. Use human skill to effectively work with other people. It includes the ability, the ability to motivate, understand, lead and communicate which can make the work more efficient and employees will be more inspired to work in the company. Lastly, first line manager. Include in lower level management, follow instruction on the top manager and middle manager. Involve in short term goals, use technical skill that is an ability to use the product to use the producer, training queue and knowledge of a specialized field. Moreover, have knowledge in doing specific work and activities responsible for the day-to-day -day supervision, supervision for the employees of the business. Training is defined as a process of leading the activities to achieve the goals of the organization and determine the ways to achieve goals. Training is one of the most important things before implementing strategy. Training will give a lot of benefits to our company. With training, our company would have a solid management organization in order to be a successful and excellent company more than other companies. Moreover, it helps our managers to always analyze the situation to predict our future outcomes. Our organization also can be developed by training since it gives us a lot of opportunities to be an excellent organization and help us to strive in satisfying our customers. Lastly, training also helps us in strategize well so that we can further expand our company's market and have a wide market all over Malaysia. Our company is made to smile with steps one by our pizza bring happiness and trainers in them. They will be more happier when they eat and eat our pizza. Next, we have premium
passion in our company. First, our mission is offering everyone a quality, premium, and delicious pizza at reasonable and affordable price. To accomplish this mission, we have ordered and used premium and quality ingredients around the world. We are also offering everyone a reasonable and affordable price so that everyone is effort for them. Our next mission is prioritized cleanly needs from all aspects to achieve guaranteed quality. Everyone are required to comply with this SOP of use that have been set. They are also required to always wash their hands and maintain personal hygiene as well as their work. Lastly, our mission is also to open several pages of our restaurant in the three buildings so that everyone in Malaysia can the from eight years their homes. Our company uses two types of pen. We have the standing pen and studio pen. For standing pen, we have policies, procedures, and rules. Policies. Everyone in company are committed in controlling manufacturing visa. Next, all managers and employees are required to be polite and nice to customer, and always prioritize the customer. Employees' welfare is company responsibilities. So. For all the employees who have financial and health problems, may direct to our manager and seek help from them. Procedure. Pizza procedure process making must be known by all managers and staff. Procedure of taking leave. All employees that want to take leave must write and send manager to take leave one week before the date they ask for leave. Procedure of entering and exit kitchen. All the staff and managers who want to go in the kitchen must always take care of the cleanliness of their personal hygiene and the cleanliness of the kitchen from any third. Rules. All employees must to always wear the neat and decent clothes that have been customized by the company. All employees cannot take leave more than 15 days in a year. All managers and staff must work for at least 6 hours and always come early. For single use plan, we have programs, projects, and budgets. Programs. Always wear promotion and offer cheap price on the searching days so that we could have more attention from our customers. Second, we want to join in any event and open our booth at there and we want to give the free pizza for everyone to taste our pizza. Projects, open your branch and extend the market. We want to open a new branch around the country and we want to, in we want to expand our market so that we can introduce to everyone a high quality and delicious pizza. Attract people with billboards and television ads. We want to promote and attract people to come and buy our pizza by using television advertisement and billboard ads. Budget. We have used 100,000 ringgit Malaysia for our first cap sales and we want to open new branches. So we have allocated the budget for 500,000 ringgit. To join the food event, we must have at least 20,000 ringgit and to use the billboard and television ads, we must use 10,000 ringgit Malaysia. So the total of our budget is 630,000 ringgit Malaysia. Next is organizing. Definition of organizing is assigning tasks, grouping tasks into departments, delegating authority, and allocating resources across the organization. This function provides different jobs to different employees according to the job specification. Due to this, specialization of work becomes possible. There are six types of departmentalization. Doremi Pizzeria choose to use three of them, which are functional structure, geographic structure, and network structure. So first, functional structure. Functional structure is the grouping of employees or related work activities according to functions performed. Doremi Pizzeria choose to use this structure to increase productivity among our employees. This is because they have been given us according to their respective expertise. Next is geographical structure. Geographical structure is the process of creating a structure of the organization based on different geographic regions and locations where the organization's activities operate. Doremi Pizzeria wants to improve communication between the local customers and local divisions of the organization. This is why our company chooses to use this geographic structure due to we have many branches around Malaysia. And last, network structure. In network structure, managers coordinate and control relations that are both internal and external to the firm. Doremi Pizzeria choose a network organizational structure because want to have a natural communication among employees. They have opportunities to interface with team members from different divisions. This sparks natural dialogue and a sense of common purpose. Then, for span of management, Doremi Pizzeria choose to implement narrow structure in our company. Narrow span of control is a management style 
where supervisors manage only a small number of employees. The reason we choose this is some jobs require managers to interact with their employees more than frequently than others. High volumes of calls, meetings, and interactive work activities can take more time and require managers to undertake a narrower span of control. Decision making is defined as a process through which managers identify and resolve problems and capitalize on opportunities. We have two types of decision making process. First, we have program decision. Program decision is defined as a repetitive decision that can be handled by a routine approach. Request for leave, workers cannot take more than 50 days leave in a year. Rules of dress code, all the workers and managers need to wear the t-shirt that has been customized by the company. Usage of worker ID, worker ID must to be scanned at the machine provided before starting and ending the workday. Non-program decision. Non-program decisions are defined as non-routine decision making that occurs in response to unusual or exceptional problems. For example, technology improvement. Our company will always renew and improve the technology of the machine and the software of our company. Wages of the employees. Wages always change following the current economics of our company. Marketing strategy. Our marketing strategy of our company will always change following the times and needs at the current time. Next is motivation theory. Maslow hierarchy of need theory. The Maslow hierarchy of need theory was proposed by Abraham Maslow back in 1943. Maslow assumes that there are five levels of needs within an individual, which are arranged in a hierarchy. The first one is physiological needs. These needs are basic needs such as food, water, air, and shelter. These needs are for good and comfortable working conditions, such as basic wage or salary. Managers who focus on physiological needs assume that people work mainly for money and are primarily concerned with comfort and their rate of pay. For example, workers care about their monthly salary that are given by the company. Next, the second level is safety or security needs. These needs are for the purpose of having a safe physical and emotional environment. It is also for protection against threats or unsafe working environment, such as job security and predictable work environment. For example, the workers were given insurance plans and received the benefits. The third level is social or belongingness needs. These needs are for friendship, love and a feeling of belonging. It is also for acceptance by others, such as associations and communication with others and being part of the group. For example, the Remy Pizzeria usually conduct a dinner together, family day and family trip every year. Next, esteem needs. These needs are for personal feelings of achievement and self-worth and by recognition, respect and prestige from others. Managers who focus on esteem needs try to foster employees' pride in their work and use public rewards and recognition for services. For example, the workers were given bonus based on their work performance. The last level is self-actualization needs. These needs are for self-fulfillment and the opportunity to achieve one's potential. People who strive for self-actualization accept themselves and use their abilities to the fullest and most creative extent. Managers who emphasize self-actualization may involve employees in designing jobs or make special assignments that capitalize on employees' unique skills. For example, managers in Doremi Pizzeria can organize our company by making job specification for each worker. Next, I am going to describe about Lady Park. Our group had chosen her seat like her life cycle jury to apply in our company to make our business grow repetitively. Based on the picture here, there are four phases in total for this jury. Phase 1 is for directing or telling, in which the manager or leader needs to give specific instructions to the employees on what, how, when, and where to do various tasks. This is because they still lack the information. So, in this phase, our company managers are responsible for giving detailed information to all the employees about all the types of visa that the company has to produce. Besides that, the manager also needs to give full guidance to employees about the company's activities such as informing them when to get stocks of flour from the suppliers to make a visa. Next, the second phase is coaching or selling. The leader still needs to provide a great deal of direction to the employees but attempts to hear their feelings about decisions, ideas, and suggestions. As an example, the managers will give the change to employees in giving their opinions or any suggestions about the business such as suggestions for an extra menu or set that should be added to our pizza restaurant. The third phase is for supporting or participating. In this phase, employees have more ability and can complete their tasks well, unlike the previous phase. So, the managers will give a change to the employees who already have the necessary skills to complete their tasks but still guide them. The leaders also provide recognition, actively listen, and facilitate the problem solving. So, the employees will be able to join or participate in the meetings that have been held and can express their ideas into the meetings. 
And the last one is phase 4, which is delegation. At this phase, the employees no longer need direction from leaders. This is because the employees are already highly capable and have the confidence to take responsibility for their work. The managers will ask the employees to fully take a position in our company such as the employees be able to lead any event that has to be organized. Besides that, the employees also get trusted in managing the firm's money that they must decide how much money is needed and when. Controlling is critically important because it helps to ensure that all of our planning, organizing and leading went successfully as we intended. Doremi Desaria company have used several types of control such as feed forward control, concurrent control and feedback control. First one is feed forward control. It's sometimes called preventive control because it is designed to ensure that the quality of input is high enough to prevent problems in the transformation process. It focuses material, financial, and human resources. For material, our company always prepare raw material stock such as flat-based dough, toppings, and other ingredients. For financial, we fix the problem of lack of expert in accounting by higher employees who have a degree in accounting. For human resources, our company use some waste so that our company can run smoothly and survive from competing with other companies. For example, we develop on employee skills. The second one is concurrent control. Concurrent control means solving or managing problems as they happen. The main, the main purpose of real-time control is to solve problems before they become a major issue. For example, if the machine breaks down while the process is still running, the managers need to take immediate action without postponing or stopping any process. In this way, the process of working will not be delayed and we can run the process of working smoothly. The third one is feedback control. When control focuses on the output phase, it, it is referred to as feedback control because it is intended intended to discover undesirable output and implement corrective action. It means that after the final process and the product are ready to go, the managers need to do the final inspections to ensure the products follow each of the factory standards and specifications before we sell to the customer. For example, at the end of an accounting year, the manager should carefully review the analysis of the budget control report. Our company also use creative and beautiful bots to attract customers to buy our pizza. We also check the quality of the pizza every day before we sell it so that our customer will love it. Let me conclude our presentation for today. Doremi Pizzeria is a company that sells various types of pizza throughout Malaysia. Our company has a vision and mission that needs to be achieved in order to expand our business internationally. Therefore, we have put together the best strategy from the big things to the smallest things to ensure that our company runs smoothly. That's all from us, Doremi Pizzeria.